Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University, and today I'm going to be doing a follow-up video to my election decentralized application tutorial. And this video is going to be talking about upgrading that application and, you know, building on top of it and doing more stuff with it. Now, if you haven't seen that video already, be sure to check it out. It's a full two-hour step-by-step decentralized application tutorial where I walk you through building the whole thing. And... Yeah, check that out. I and mean, if you haven't already, also be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can see more videos about how to build decentralized applications on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, I've got a couple of videos on the channel already that talk about upgrading this dApp, and I've got a couple of other videos that are going to be coming out that also talk about upgrading it. So this video really is uh, kind of intended to show you which videos uh, will correspond to this, and I'm going to organize all these videos into a playlist so that, you know, right after watching the decentralized application development tutorial, you can kind of just go through the playlist and see all the videos in sequence to see what else you can do with this DAP tutorial. So if you're watching this video, it's probably already been uploaded and put in that playlist. So you can just follow the videos, you know, as they go after that. But I wanted to kind of give you an overview of the next things that you can do with the DAP tutorial and, you know, kind of take it from where we left off in the first tutorial. And also, I just want to say, you know, I'm really overwhelmed by the success of the video so far. You know, at the time of recording this, I think, you know, it's closing in at about 10,000 views. Um, and I've got a lot of positive feedback and uh, people really enjoyed it and want to see more videos. So I'm starting to release more videos faster. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss those. And um, yeah, I also want to hear from you all what you all want to see. Um, you know, what content that you want to learn about when you're trying to learn to become a blockchain programmer and develop, you know, decentralized applications. So you can also follow me on Twitter for, you know, more daily updates. And also, uh, if you want to reach out to me, it's a, a good way to do that as well. So let's dive into, uh, you know, kind of the other resources that are going to be in this playlist and what they do for this tutorial. So the first thing, oh, I should also mention, sorry, if you uh, haven't seen the tutorial, you can also uh, find the code on GitHub here on my DAP University GitHub page. This is, uh, if, if you want to start, you know, uh, after the tutorial without building the whole thing first, you can just download this code first and work with that from there. So the first uh, kind of major upgrade would be, you know, we built this decentralized application on our local machine and the next kind of thing would be getting it off of our local machine. And you can do that kind of in two ways. You know, the first way would be to just get the smart contract layer or the decentralized portion um, onto a test network. And there's two different ways that we can do that. There's, or there's several ways we can do that, but I show you, you know, two to start off with, and I, I may add more. But let's go take a look. So the first video would be uh, this video called, you know, Deploy Smart Contracts. This is the part one. And in that video, I show you how to take the election decentralized application smart contract and deploy it to the Robston test network with Remix. Now, Remix is a browser-based IDE um, put out by Ethereum that allows you to, you know, code your smart contracts and um, test them and debug them and also deploy them to a test network. So this is Remix right here. And this is something that, you know, we can use to run this smart contract and deploy it to a test network. And like I said, just check out that video in this playlist because I'll show you how to do that with your election decentralized application so that you can get, you know, your, uh, you can get your smart contract on a test network. Another way to, you know, get our election decentralized application off of our machine and onto a test network um, is using like, you know, some local development tools. And uh, in this video, this Deploy Smart Contracts Part 2, I show you how to, you know, take your election decentralized uh, application, you know, your smart contract, and deploy it with something called Geth. Now, Geth is a Go implementation of Ethereum, so it allows you to run, you know, a full-blown Ethereum node on your development environment. It also allows you to, you know, connect to different Ethereum networks, like the main network, uh, or the Robson test network, or the Rinkeby test network. Um, and that's what I show you in this other tutorial is how to, you know, use Geth 
to, locally to deploy uh, the smart contract from the tutorial to the Rinkeby test network. And that's uh, this video here that you can also find in the playlist. Now, another cool upgrade for our, you know, DAP tutorial is uh, building it with, you know, some modern web technologies. And, you know, in the tutorial that you, you all watched, um, you know, I try to keep it very simple from the front end perspective, you know, the client side perspective, because I really wanted to focus on, you know, building uh, the smart contract and solidity and getting you, you know, introduced to that. Um, kind of getting your toes wet with um, you know, smart contract programming and building something like that. I didn't want to make the other part too complicated, right? I want to keep that very simple. So if you wanted to learn how to you know, uh, build a more modern uh, web application with your, you know, connected to your smart contract, connected to your back end, if you wanted a modern front end, you could upgrade this tutorial uh, with something like React.js, right? A more modern web development framework. And I just put out a video that shows you, you know, how I actually did that. And that's this video right here, um, this Ethereum plus React.js video. And uh, I've got this also hosted on uh, the DAP University GitHub. You can just see um, everything in here, the source directory, um, everything has been refactored into uh, uh, React components. You can see uh, the you know app component here. You guys can browse this code, and I'm actually adding on to this uh, little by little. I kind of just did this, and I wanted to add more things to it and kind of refine it. And I'm also open to collaboration. So if you all would like to submit any pull requests to this, um, feel free. Or if you want to you know show me how you like to do things, I'd be happy to uh, happy to take a look. Now, the uh, other thing that you can do with the election decentralized application is to make it fully decentralized. And what do I mean by fully decentralized? Well, think about it. So if you have, you know, a DAP, you want everything about it to be decentralized. You want, you know, not just the smart contract to be decentralized on the blockchain, right? You want the client side to also be decentralized. And, you know, for kind of just simplicity's sake, in the other tutorial, we show you how to build, you know, the front end with, you know, a local development server um, with, you know, uh, kind of like a, an environment built with NPM. And um, you just have a little development server that's serving all your assets. And if you were going to deploy that, sure, you could deploy the client side to a web server. But that's still centralized, right? So you're still using a web server in the process. So if you wanted to eliminate the web server, you could use something like IPFS and serve your client side assets also in a distributed fashion. And that's actually the next video that I'm going to release on this channel, which will also be in the playlist. So if you're not familiar with IPFS, it's basically a, uh, uh, a protocol, a peer-to-peer -peer protocol for um, accessing files through a web browser. So it is distributed a lot like the blockchain and it's a perfect match for building dApps in this decentralized way, right? So now you have a place for your client side assets uh, to be served without a central server. So be sure to check out that video, which will be the next one coming out on this channel and will also be in this playlist. So that's it guys. And that's really just a quick one for today. I wanted to show you, you know, what you can do with your election decentralized application, how you can upgrade it. And I wanted to you know, make sure you were aware of which videos kind of correspond to that. Um, so check that out. And like I said, I'll probably add more videos to this playlist as you keep doing things with this election decentralized application tutorial. And if there's something that you all want to see, like I said, leave me a comment in the section below or you can email me or send me a tweet on Twitter. Um, so yeah, let me know. I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can see more videos about how to become a blockchain developer and to build decentralized applications on the Ethereum blockchain. And until then, thanks for watching DAP University.